Alright, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, continuing our robot uh, mouse mover program. So, what we've done so far is we have laid out the window, added the objects, and declared four uh, number integer variables. Now, we need to validate that information and check that the uh, numbers are uh, positive. So, go like this. If num is less than or equal to zero, or, that's what that uh, double line thing means, is or operator, delay is less than or equal to zero, or width is less than or equal to zero, or height is less than or equal to zero. So, check everything, put a thingy like that, and then error label set text, please enter positive values. And so if, if this code, if, if any of the values they enter are negative, this code is going to execute and the error label is going to set itself to please enter positive values. And then they can try again until they get it correctly. They enter all positives and then the program will continue. And then we go else. Now, in this else, we got to set the error label text back to, um, we have to clear it out in case they'd previously tripped this block of code. Now, if they had done that, we have to set it back. And if it's already set back, it'll just not do anything. So, error label set text and then empty quotes. Now, go down a couple and we need another try block. So, so far we've got two try blocks, both with errors because we haven't added the catch blocks yet. But we'll do that later. And this one, this is where we're going to make we need a try block around this because um, uh, Java makes you put a try block when you try to do a robot object because you can throw so many errors. So robot, uh, I'm gonna call him Rob equals new robot, and then I'm gonna do a for loop. So for int and let's call it x is equal to zero x is less than or equal to num and then x plus plus now another curly brace and not a comma here, duh, I need a semicolon okay now what this is going to do is it's going to execute for as many times as we entered for num so they already entered that now we're going to do, this is the hardest line of code probably Rob dot mouse move and then we're gonna need all right, this is gonna be pretty long so bear with me we're gonna need to uh, let's see clear this one all right we have to do type cast we have to cast these an int so int and then math dot random empty parameters and go outside that parenthesis and type in times width that's the variable and then outside those parameters put a comma space and then another int and then I'm gonna go down the line so you can see it and then math dot random and then times height and semicolon just like that and what that's going to do is it's going to move the mouse in random directions inside of our screen and it's going to know how big our screen is by the width and the height um, variables that the user passed in in the beginning when they launched the program so now after that we want to delay or like we want to stop moving the mouse like maybe a couple milliseconds in between so they can actually see it or else it's going to move it instantly and it would be wouldn't even be fun at all so rob dot delay and then we're going to pass in the delay parameter which we specified right here 
and that's equal to our text field 2, which is right here. So, that's how that works. Now, finally we're going to start ending these blocks. So, go outside of this one, uh, move this one up a little bit, and then right, go right to this one, so find where this try block ends, and go catch, and then A, W, T, exception, now it's called X, and then if this throws an exception, I think I'm just gonna shut shut it down. So system exit zero. Now tighten this one up a little bit and let's see, go outside this if block, so right to here, um, and go. Let me see here. Actually, no. Nope. We want to go all the way down here to this try block. So down three from the previous one and go catch exception x uh, I should call it EXX just so it doesn't get confused with the other one and then go scroll this up um, error label dot set text numbers only so if they try to enter something like uh, underscore or an A or something like that, it's going to catch that. And thank goodness we are done with the uh, action perform method. So that's good. So go down, main method time, public stack, main string, args, and then mouse mover new. Packet and title. Nice game, okay. <laughs> now, launch. And this is our program that we've created. It's pr actually pretty complex when you th if you think about it. Our biggest program we've made yet. So, I'm going to enter number of mouse movements, and I'm really dumb, and I'm going to put D, and I'm going to put 5, and I'm going to put negative 9, and I'm going to put L, and I'm going to press start. And it says numbers only. I'm like, oh, duh. So I'm put negative nine, five, negative nine, and negative eight. And it's gonna say, please enter positive values. And I'm gonna be like, okay. So I'm gonna be like, I wanna do ten movements, and I wanna do twenty milliseconds. And my screen width is, I think, ten twenty four, and my height is seven sixty eight. And I press start. And if you saw that, my mouse just moved rapidly around the screen. 10 times. Uh, I mean, I'll try 30 so you can see. Uh, if you could see that, it just moved it. I mean, obviously, my recording window is a lot smaller than my main screen, so you can't see the my whole screen, but it rest assured it moved 30 times around my screen. And there's a 20 millisecond, so maybe I'll do 100 millisecond, not 1,000. Oh, maybe I should clear this up, I suppose. Uh, I should say in MS so people know that uh, in milliseconds. It also might enter seconds and they'll really be screwed. So uh, I'm going to do th 20 movements and 100 milliseconds and 1024 and 768. Uh, 768. Alright, start. And if you saw that, it just moved it 20 times and with a tenth of a second delay between each movement. So. Uh, it's a pretty complete program. It catches almost, I think it catches all of the errors that you can possibly throw at it. I mean, all in 85 lines of code, so pretty good. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.